Hey friends, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. It has been far too long since I have seen your face. How are you doing? Wonderful? That's great. I have had a ton of things going on in my life. My life has been crazy. My family life has been crazy. School, work life, all of it just like totally all over the place. And I kind of have an emotional video today. I'm not going to go into detail with this. If you know me personally and want to know more details, please feel free to reach out to me. I just don't want to give too many details out for everybody to hear on the internet. Over time, I will give and tell the story more as I feel ready. But for now, I just kind of want to leave it very vague. But overall, my family is moving this summer. We are moving states. I currently live in Arizona and we are moving to California as of around June and July. We'll be moving. So that is a huge life transition, especially for me as someone who grew up and was raised in Arizona. Like this is going to be so crazy and hectic for me, but there are a lot of smaller details of it. So feel free to reach out once again and ask me those if you're curious. Last I counted, I had well over 300 books. And so naturally that is a lot of weight to be carrying across states. I in this video, we'll be sharing all of the books that I am unhauling, all the books that I am getting rid of, trying to sell, donating, etc, etc. It's sad and it's definitely been like a growing period for me because a lot of these books actually do have memories tied to them and I love them. I love books. This used to all be books right here. Um, now it's just a collection of all the different things that I love. But overall, these are the books I'm getting rid of and I won't be telling too many details about the books. I'll just be telling you a reason maybe why I'm getting rid of it and we'll go from there. So let's just get started, shall we? I just have boxes of books right here next to me. It's kind of making me emotional, but it's fine. We're getting through it. Change is good. Change is good. All right, first series I'm going to talk about, The Delirium Series by Lauren Oliver. This series I read quite some time ago. It is a young adult dystopian series. I actually really enjoyed it. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I just know that I am not going to read it a second time. Next book, we have Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Now, I really like this one as well. This is a young adult mystery series. I believe there's three books in the series. I have not read the last one, but I read the first two. I only own this first one. The second book is my favorite. I actually did not really enjoy this one, hence why I'm getting rid of it. Okay, next book we have is This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. I love this book. I actually swear by this book. This is a young adult mystery once again, where basically I'll tell you what it's about just because I love this book so much. It's about these five dudes, all friends. They go out hunting one day. One of them ends up dead, but the other four won't say anything about his death. So it's almost like a who done it, what's going on, is anybody like who 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 killed the dude and why is everybody covering for him? So it's kind of crazy, a little psychotic. There's also a lot of romance in this book as well. I just oh my gosh, I love this book so much. I'm just getting rid of it because I once again know I most likely, even though I love it so much, probably am not going to read it again. Hopefully someone else will be able to enjoy it as much as I did. This next series is probably going to get a lot of people coming for my throat. Um, we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I believe this is the first, the second, and the fourth book. I think this is the fourth book. I honestly have no idea. I just completely lost interest in it. And I don't know if that's because there are so many books in the series or because there was so much time in between me reading the books, but I just lost total interest in it. I don't think I ever will read this fourth one. I just have like, I just don't want to, I don't, Grr! This is a honker, Grey's Anatomy. This I got at Goodwill. It is literally the classic and it's also illustrated, which I think is super, super cool. It's just that I know for me personally, not, not my expertise. More classics I'm getting rid of. 
Great Gatsby. You should know who that's by and Gulliver's Travels. These two I have never read <laughs> and I was actually supposed to read this one in high school. My teacher actually totally excused us from reading it so I didn't finish it. I think I've read the first two chapters but the rest of it I have no idea what's going on, what happens. I've never been spoiled surprisingly, never seen any of the movies. Same with Gulliver's Travels. I just yeah they take up shelf space which i would like freed another classic grapes of wrath by john steinbeck i think this book is beautiful and i wish i could keep it but i just know this book is about the great depression and i don't know if i would really honestly enjoy reading this book so though it is beautiful i could fill my shelves with books that I would actually read and enjoy. Okay, Ace, if you fall over one more time, look, I love him. He's my newest addition to my shelves, but like my brother. Please stand normally. Is it your stand? It can't be your stand. It has to be you, right? He drank too much. Next up, we got Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge. This one I found at Goodwill. I have never read it, so I'll probably attempt and try to finish this book before I get rid of it, before I donate it or someone buys it. But um, because it's a young adult fantasy and it actually sounds very much up my alley. But here is one that I know that I probably will eventually get rid of. Next, we have Where the Red Fern Grows. Now this one is gonna hurt. I haven't read this one. I need to be in a certain mood to read this kind of book and that's just not now. It's just not now. Next, we got the first two books in the Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. I am not interested in reading any more Rick Riordan. That sounds kind of harsh. I promise it's not because I actually love Percy Jackson. I have not found any of his other series very interesting. Alrighty, we got Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare and others. I haven't read this one. No offense towards Cassandra Clare because I have read the majority of her books, but it's just the fact that I basically have been spoiled for all of these short stories. I know what happens. I know what's going on. I have a bookmark in here still. I will give you to someone I think will actually read you and enjoy you. My boy, Simon. <laughs> Next, we got Penny Dreadfuls, which this I believe was sold at Barnes & Noble. I think I got it on sale, but this is an assortment of horror stories by various authors. Love it, love the genre of horror as you probably should know if you've watched some of my videos before, but I just, don't think I will ever dig deep into this book in particular. I Have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I really liked this book, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. It is a young adult mystery. I do recommend it, but it's just like, I think it was too hyped up for me. So I was expecting way more than I got. Next I have With Malice by Eileen Cook. I've never read this book before. I got this at a Goodwill. Next I have My Lady Jane. This is another instance where I found this at Goodwill. Most likely won't read it, though it does sound very interesting. This is a young adult historical fiction novel, I believe. I just know that I'm just, I unfortunately, I probably won't ever read this in the near future. Next, we have a poem collection, I Hope You Stay, by Courtney Peppernell. I love poetry. I'm a huge fan of poetry. But when it comes to collections of poetry, I read them once and then I'm good. I take pictures of my favorite poems and then I'm good. Next up, this is the only Stephen King book I am getting rid of because I have a quite large Stephen King collection that I am actually quite fond of. Very fond of, in fact. So I'm keeping all of them. I'm just getting rid of this one. This one is Night Shift. I'm getting rid of it because it doesn't have the cover. I got it at Goodwill for about two, three dollars. So I know that if I really want this a part of my collection, I could find a better version of this book. Now we have Counted with the Stars by Conaline Cassette. I could have totally said her name wrong. I just have not been super interested in it. Next book is Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This, just like Night Shift, 
this is the only book that I am getting rid of that is by Marissa Meyer. I am keeping the rest of my Marissa Meyer books because that collection is going strong as well. But this one is my least favorite by her. We got The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. I actually really liked this book. I really liked this book. This is a young adult horror novel. Not even young adult. I would say maybe new adult. I think that's what that genre is called because it is very graphic and gory, but I really liked it. I loved the main character in this story, but I just know I'm not going to read it again. And so I want to share the wealth, share the joy, and maybe it'll find a home where someone will enjoy it as much as I did. Next up, we have Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I have no idea if they're in the correct order or not, and nor do I care really. Um, I bought these at Goodwill for a dollar each. They are quite beaten up, as you can see. At one point in my life, I really wanted to read these bad boys. And I think I actually would enjoy the story. But I think maybe I should watch it versus read it. I've just heard a lot of mixed reviews on both the book series and the TV show. Don't know if I'll ever get around to these ever. And they are quite thick. So they'll free up lots of space on my shelves for sure. This is a book I'm so glad I'm getting rid of. Ready Player Two by Ernest Klein. I'm keeping Ready Player One because I love Ready Player One. This book, we don't, nah, this ain't it. We got Wonder by RJ Palacio. I love this book. This one has a special place in my heart. This, ugh. this is such a heartwarming story. If you've never read Wonder, I don't even want to tell you much about it. I just want you to pick it up and read it. I'm just getting rid of it because I know I probably won't read it another time. Alrighty friends, we have The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. I have heard fantastic things about this book and the series. I believe there's three books in this series, but I just have had this on my shelf for so long and I've never read it. So I just kind of think that I should get rid of it. If I ever want to at some point in my life read it ever, I can easily find it at my library. Next we have The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd Jones. I have tried reading this book. I got about halfway and I stopped reading it and I never read it again. So I did not finish this book or aka DNF'd it. And I probably will never read it again. I'll throw another classic at you. We have The Call of the Wild and White Fang by Jack London. I have read both of these stories. They are phenomenal and they're great. It's just that I won't read them again ever. And I actually read these at quite a stressful time in my life. So this book just doesn't bring me joy in general. <laughs> so we're one box down. We have one left to go. I have The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. I have read and I have kept up with the series. It's just that this is one of the series that I don't think I need to own. I don't like it as much as I like, I don't know, the mortal instruments and the infernal devices. Those series I will keep treasured. Those are my prized possessions. But this series, I, I found this book at Goodwill. I bought it for like three, four dollars. So I just don't have as much emotional connection to the series as I do the other ones. Next, I have quite an emotional book and one that I literally cannot emphasize this enough. Please read this book if you haven't. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. I love it and I think it is such a life-changing book. But it's one of those where you read it once and you're good. So hopefully she'll find a good home once more. Then we got Unashamed by Lecrae. I love Lecrae. I love his music so much. I listen to his music all of the time. I keep up with them rap songs and rap albums. Okay, y'all? But this book, this book is wonderful also. But this is one of them where it's like one and done. I read it once, probably won't read it again. I've had several people borrow it from me, but I just, I know that I probably won't pick it up again. So there you have it. Next, I got the first two books in the Ember and the Ashes series by Saba Tahir. I haven't read this series. I have heard great things about it. I just haven't gotten around to reading them and they have been sitting on my shelf for so long. Okay, this series hurts a little bit getting rid of. This one, painful. We have The Darker Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I literally have all of the books. I love this series, I do. And 
I wouldn't be getting rid of it if I wasn't moving. But because I am, I do think that I won't read it again. I want it to go to a home that will appreciate it and enjoy this series to the fullest because it's a wonderful series. It's a young adult dystopian. It's one of those genres that I think can never be outwritten. I love dystopian. I love dystopian novels. And this one is just peak, peak fiction right here. Another dystopian series, we have the Legend series by Marie Lu. Also highly recommend this one as well. I just know I'm not gonna read these again. Next up, we have The Selection by Kira Cass. This is a romance young adult series and I loved it. I just know that once again, and this is definitely a theme in today's video, but I won't be reading them a second time. Next up, we got Lumine by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I actually really like the formatting of this book. This one was a very fascinating one to read for the first time. I just don't think I'll ever read it again. And I actually never finished the series. I stopped after this first book. I have a very unpopular opinion. I didn't really enjoy this book as much as I thought I would. And last, but certainly not least, we have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. I have both the first and the second book here with me. I really do like these books but they are screenplays so they read differently than normal books which I don't know how I felt about it. They were very fast reads but I definitely like book like normal classic book format more than I like screenplays so they just weren't exactly up my alley. All right so those were all of the books I'm getting rid of for this move. I might get rid of more books as I think about it and as I really deep clean my room. But for now, those are the solid number of books that I'm going to get rid of. I have a lot more shelf room, as you can see. I have even more shelf room on some of the shelves you don't normally see. But overall, I, I am sad. It is a bittersweet thing for sure. But I'm excited to fill up my shelves once more with new books and new figurines, new things that I love. So that's definitely really exciting for me. And overall, I love change and we'll see where life takes me next. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me through this. I love you so much. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will definitely see you next time. Bye!